this one is 3.10 here we need to find out the reactions at these two supports and we need to plot the shear force and bending moment diagram for this peak so looking at this load here this can be idealized as a linearly distributed force so if i draw this separately here this is a linearly distributed force and this intensity w naught is not known to us this length right here is 3 meters so if i draw an equivalent diagram to this i can replace this linearly distributed force with a point force here if it is acting for a distance l here this can be written as w naught l by 2 at a distance 2 l over 3 from this side and l over 3 from this side so let's say this is your total load capital w so in this case there are 60 400 newton sandbags that means your capital w is given to be 60 times 400 which is newtons 24 kilonewtons so if i substitute the value of l there and this w as 24 kilonewtons your w naught comes out as 24 divided by 3 into 2 which is 16 kilonewton per meter so in this figure here we can have this capital w force which is 24 kilonewtons at a distance of 2 meters from this side and 1 meter right here to find out your reaction forces we can do the global force balance which is r1 plus r2 will balance your 24 kilonewtons so that's the first equation then i can take moment about 0.1 so it's going to be 24 at a distance of 2 equals to r2 at a distance of 3 so this gives us the value of r2 as 16 kilonewtons and r1 as 8 kilonewtons Now for the shear force bending moment diagram, we can go and make this cut at a distance of x from this side. So if I draw the free body diagram of this cut, we are going to have this distributed force up to a distance of x. On this side, we will have this reaction R1. And on the right hand side here, we are going to have your unknown shear force V and bending moment MB. Now this distributed force, if you extend this, we know that the value of this distributed load is 16 at a distance of 3. So at a distance of x, this value will be lesser than 16 and if you use similar triangles, if I mark this as Wx, your Wx can be written as 16 divided by 3 because that's the slope times your distance x. So this is the value of intensity in wx at a distance of x now this free body diagram we can again draw it in an equivalent sense so your equivalent diagram for this will be if i replace this distributed force by a point load this can be replaced by wx if this length was x the load will be replaced at 2x by 3 and the value of this force is going to be distributed load wx value times length of this divided by 2. So this is the value of force at this point acting at a distance of 2x by 3 from the left hand. So on this we still have this R1 here and we have this V and MD. R1 value is equals to 8 kilonewtons. So now we can analyze this structure. So if you look at your forces we have R1 plus V equals to that force which is wx times x over 2 substitute the value of wx here so we get it as 8 x square divided by 3 so this means that your value of v is 8 x square divided by 3 minus r1 and the r1 value is 8 now looking at your bending moment if i take moment about this point your mb is going to be r1 times distance x minus this force here which is wx times x over 2 and the distance for this force is x by 3 from this side so this is x over 3 here so if i simplify this equation i get mb equals to r1x 
is 8x because r1 is 8 and if I substitute 16 over 3 in this equation here I again get x cube divided by 9 here. So these are the values of shear force and bending moment. Now your shear force is a quadratic equation and bending moment is a cubic equation. So let's try plotting this one. So for a quadratic we need two values and a peak there. So for this beam we look at two values at x equals to 0 and x equals to 3. So for x equals to 0 this value is minus 8 and at x equals to 3 your value is 16 kN. Now for the peak we can check the derivative of this equation and if you take the derivative we get 16 by 3x which is going to be 0 at x equals to 0. So for this equation your peak will happen at x equals to 0. Okay. So let's plot these values. So at x equals to 0 we are getting minus 8 right here and at x equals to 3 which is this end we are getting 16 so somewhere there and the slope for this is 0 here so this needs to be a parabola. Now the coefficient of this parabola is, is positive for x square so it's going to be a parabola opening upwards. So I can now complete this diagram so slope is 0 here that's how we start and then we are going to follow this curve so that we get the value of 16 on the right side. So we can have this shaded region and that's how your shear force diagram looks. For completeness we can draw the convention that we are following which is positive on this side and negative on this one. Now this value right here where your shear force is going 0 you can put this equals to 0 and you can see that this value is x equals to square root 3 meters and this is going to be helpful when we start plotting your bending moment. Your bending moment's peak should happen around this point because the derivative of bending moment is nothing but your shear force. So now let's start plotting this one here. So let's look at the two endpoints in this case also. If I substitute x equals to 0, I will get a value 0 from here. So this is 0. If I substitute x equals to 3 right here, you can see that this value also comes out to be 0. So we are starting somewhere here and at x equals to 3 again we are getting 0. Now this point where your shear force is going down as 0, this value is going to be achieving your peak for your bending moment. Right. So now with these we can plot this. So I start like this and then I fall down in this point. Now this value which is square root 3 which is approximately 1.732 meters. So you can see that this is not right at the center. So this peak is going to be slightly shifted to the right hand side. So that's how your pending movement diagram looks. And the value at this point here, your mb value, if I substitute x equals to square root 3 in this equation, I get a value which is 9.24 kN. Meter. Then you can shade this region. This is how your bending moment looks. This is your mb x. And the convention that we have followed is this right here. 